So today you get to start on your blog for the change project. That is, if you have completed both of your flow maps and your Glogster outline, and both all three of those have been turned in on Edmodo. Um, so the first thing that you're going to need to do is sign into your email account and get your uh, nickname and password for Glog, or excuse me, for Glogster. Once you have that, you're going to go to www.glogster.com and then the sign in button or the login button is over here on the right hand side of your page so you're going to click login your username is going to be that nickname that was in your email mine is I teach teachers tech and then you're going to put in your password I think that's mine yep all right so this is what the screen is going to look like when you sign in. Don't worry about any of this stuff up here. What you're going to do is you have, you're given these templates to start with. Um, and you have a few different ones to choose from. But we are going to use the very first option called the poster blog. So when you click on that, It brings you to this uh, blue screen, which is actually your poster, and it tells you the tools that you have right here, and then there's already two images on your page. There's this uh, speech bubble here and the arrow. This is where I'm going to start. I'm going to click on the speech bubble, and I'm going to kind of move it over here to the side to show you when you put an image on your page what you can do with it. All right, your four corners here, you have arrows. Those are your resize buttons. And you can click on those and re resize however you want to. In the center of your four sides, you have arrows that are kind of curvy. This will let you spin the image and kind of reposition it how you want it to look on your page. You also have all of these tools in the top left hand corner of your image. We'll start at the bottom here. This is an effect an enhancements tool. So when you click on this, it's going to let you change the effect of the shadow and the shadow is this area right here. You can choose to use a shadow or not. If you like the shadow, you can change the color of the shadow. You can um, change the blur of the shadow as well. You can change the angle, meaning what side it's on. Not really sure what alpha does. Kind of looks like the brightness of it maybe. And how um, far out or far in it goes. That's what those bars do. You can also change the transparency of your image. The default is set to no, no transparency, but if you click yes, you can change how transparent your object is. Alright, so that's image transparency. Your next button is your text button. And so that just lets you, you'll have to highlight your text, but this lets you change the font. And there are a few different fun fonts that you can use. Some fonts don't let you bold or italicize, but you can underline. You can change the alignment. Not real sure what Flexi does. You can play around with that. You can also either drag your text bigger or smaller or you can type it in to make sure that your text will fit on your um, speech bubble here. You can change the color of your text. If you click all colors it'll give you the color wheel here and then you can click kind of where you want it and you can darken or lighten um, however you want to do that undo redo. 
You can also add a hyperlink. A hyperlink is just an, a web address to another place. So if um, I wanted to link here to a video that I found or to a web page, this is where I would copy and paste that website. So that's your, te your text tool. You can also link to a website using the chain links and that just takes you back to the same place and you would just put in that um, hyperlink there. Like if I wanted this to link to my uh, to Edmodo, I would type in www.edmodo.com. Maybe. Let's try that again. And then click the X. And maybe that would link. We'll have to do it. We'll have to see after we publish. This eyedropper here lets you change the color of your image. Again, you get the color wheel and you can make it whatever color you want to. Keep in mind contrast between the color of your text and the color of your image. You want to make sure that it is easily read by your viewers. Alright, this button right here will bring your image to the front. So if I drag this over, my speech bubble goes on top of the arrow. This one puts it behind. So if now if I drag it, now my arrow is on top. This button right here is your copy and paste. It does it all in one. You copy and paste and now you have two of them. If you made a mistake and you don't need this one, you just click on the trash can and it deletes it. This button right here will take, will undo all of the editing that you have done to that image. And so if I click this, it's going to take it back to the original position, colors, everything. Um, if you made a mistake and press that button and you don't want to do that, you can go through the whole undo up here to get to get it back to what you want it to look like. This is your lock tool and that will allow you to put it where you want it on the page and then lock it so that it can't be moved. Okay. So that's your tools that you can do how you can edit when you put something on your page. Now where are you going to go to put something on your page? We're going to go over here to the top left hand corner to the tools button. The tools that you have access to are your text tools, graphics, which are things like this that are already in Glog that you can Glogster that you can use. You can bring in images. This is changing your wall and your page. Audio, video, and data. We're not going to really get into this right now. This may be for a later project project. So for my text, if I want to put something on my page, you have all of these different text um, bubble options and you can click the arrows down here and see all the different options that you have there are also different categories that you have access to so you can search through these the different styles you have cartoony ones that you can add and you have a preview window right here so if you like this, there's your preview. If that's the one you want to put on your, onto your blog, then you would click the pink Use It button, and then click your X. And now you can edit it. You can move it wherever you want it onto your page. Okay, so let's go back up here to Tools. So that's your text tool. Graphics are the like clip art that you can add. If it says animated here, that means it moves. Those arrows that I had on my blog, this is where I got it from. All I did was I used this one, clicked use it, and then I went in and I edited the color of it. I think I changed mine to black, and that's all I did. All right, let's look at our image tool. Um, 
if you want to use a picture that you have taken of yourself what you will need to do from your iPad is you will need to go into your photo roll or your camera roll and email that picture to yourself from your email on the computer you will need to save that picture to the desktop and then you can upload it in here I will show you all how to do that when we get in the lab so don't worry about getting confused with that your wall is the background color and you can choose to use one of your pictures so if I like this for my picture I hi I've clicked on it and now I have these different options of using it if I want it normal I can also align it to different places on my page just by clicking this button here and it's giving you a preview if I want a solid background I click here purple is my favorite color but keep in mind that contrast again you don't want your background to be so dark or so distracting that it's going to take away from the content of your page that is part of your grade to make sure that your page is very easy to read and to see Flickr and um, is another place that you can go to find um, images and you can search for those up there you can also do a Google search when I um, I did a Google search for there's a boy in the girls bathroom ah look here I have an image of the book that I can choose to include on my wall there it is um, your page is kind of the same thing as your um, wall for your blog, so there's no real difference there. So once you are done editing, um, or before, if you're not done but it's time to leave the lab, you'll need to go ahead and give your poster a title. I would include your name in that. Mrs. Boucher's change blog would be a good one. And then you would click save. Uh, for some reason it logged me out we'll do that and so now um, it would be in one of my unfinished blogs I don't know why it signed me out um, if you have any questions feel free to let me know